Hello ladies and gentlemen, it is Castle Perfect here once again, bringing you a NU tier Wi-Fi battle match. Um, it's been a couple of days since I last uploaded another one, but I did promise you guys that I would bring you something this week uh, if I had the time, and so here it is. Uh, this battle is against uh, Jolt Easy number one. If you guys are absolutely interested into this guy's channel, I will leave a link down in the description. And uh, there is also another link to the Mega Evolution of Charizard for Pokemon X. Um, it is an original uh, episode of the anime. Um, it's pretty freaking awesome. You guys should definitely check it out. The link will be down in the description. Check that out. Uh, you actually get uh, to see the animated Charizard becoming Mega. And that's just freaking awesome. But anyway, let's go ahead and jump into the battle here. As you can see, I'm leading off with Taurus. And my opponent is leading off with the, uh, with the uh, Pikachu. He goes for the Protect just to see what I'm going to do. I, I just pretty much went straight forward with Rock Climb. Because I don't want him predicting me with an Earthquake and going out into Tropius. So in the end, I end up hitting his Marowak. As I do predict the Earthquake from his Marowak. And then switch out into my Anubish. I am going to hide behind the sub because really that's the best option that I have, knowing that he will uh, we, he will switch out, um, knowing that you know I could possibly go for the Will O Wisp or something al along those lines. So I just wanted to see what this guy was going to do. So quite frankly, the reason being for why I actually went for the uh, Thunderbolt at this point was because I misclicked and um, I did got a flinch before that turn, so I could easily have taken out that Pikachu, but that was not the case unfortunately. Um, so he's going to be able to take down my substitute from that range and uh, I'm going to be able to take down his Pikachu which is going to be the first Pokemon that I take down from his team and that makes the game actually 5 or I mean 6 to 5 at this point. He's gonna bring out his Dunsparce which I don't know what to expect from. The uh, last thing that I remember from this kind of Pokemon or this Pokemon in, in particular is that reason that uh, they just love freaking to paralyze everything with body slam, so I just try to hide behind the sub and see what he's gonna do So it seems like he's going for the body slam So I'm going to switch out into my rocky here knowing that I can sponge basically everything that this guy is going to throw at me uh, Other than glare because glare and body slam can possibly paralyze my rocky But I don't really care about that because I still got heal bell on my lady Which is going to be my guard of war and um, I'm actually going to take this opportunity to go ahead and set up the stealth rocks here on the switch into Marowak I'm going to go for the super effective hit with the Ice Punch. Um, to my surprise, I'm faster. I remember that I experienced something like this before. So that's basically the reason why I stayed in. And um, I'm actually going to go for an Earthquake this time after I sponge a Earthquake coming from that Marowak, which is pretty powerful. Look at that. It actually did a 50% damage. Even though it's super effective and stabbed, I know that. But still, holy crap, that, that, that did a lot. And, you know, Rock is pretty sturdy, so it actually lived with like 40, 47 HP left. So. I take down his uh, his Dawn Sparse, or I mean uh, Marowak, sorry, and that makes the game 6-5 to five at this point, and he's gonna bring out his Dawn Sparse once again, and I'm actually thinking, I don't know what I was think thinking at this point, I was like, you know what, I'm going to switch into Anubish, I'm actually going to go for the Will-O-Wisp, and um, I had the same matchup a couple of turns ago, but at this point I'm like, I just need to get a burn on this guy and avoid him going for coil and getting a 6 plus attack, a 6 plus defense and a 6 plus accuracy. That would be bad news for me even though uh, I have my Rocky so I just don't want this guy to go that far so I'll just go ahead and burn him. He goes for the body slam. Very luckily for me I don't get paralyzed on the off chance. You know body slam has like a 30% chance of paralyzing the foe so that is really dangerous so I'm really banking at this point uh, on the flinches that Air Slash is possible of giving. And there you go, I get the first flinch, which is awesome. So uh, this will allow me to finish off Dawn Sports on the next turn after he goes for the burn. Uh, or I mean after the burn damage. And that is going to be amazing. I'm actually going to go for the Thunderbolt, which is a bit more powerful that, than my uh, Air Slash. So Dawn Sports is actually out of the way and things are looking pretty good for me because things are, you know, working out smoothly and um, the game is 6 to 5 at this point. And um, now he brings out his Tropius, which um, the first thing that came into my mind when I actually saw the Tropius was Lead Seed. So that's why I went ahead and, uh, um, you know, started hiding myself behind a substitute. But instead he goes for a Curse, which I've never seen on a Tropius before. I, I have no idea how that works or what the move said um, is on that Tropius, but... It is definitely going to give me a chance to actually go for the Air Slash and most likely get a flinch, which I don't get, unfortunately. But he's going to go for another Curse, which, if you ask me, I have no idea why he would go for that. 
Um, if I were him, uh, the first time, you know, the first turn that I sent out my Tropius, I would go completely offensive, but it seems like he's not thinking the same way, so uh, he's, go he's actually going to lose his Tropius to my Anubis, and Anubis is actually doing a pretty, ama pretty amazing job at this point. He's not going down, he's dealing some massive damage to basically everything that comes in, so that is pretty good. So he decided to bring out his pre his pre last Pokemon, which is going to be his Arbok. Arbok is going to take a Thunderbolt. And um, that is actually going to leave him with like 47-46% uh, uh, of HP. And then he's going to go for the Stockpile, which is going to boost his defense and special defense. Which to my surprise, you know, I was like, oh no, you gotta be kidding me. This is going to be one of those guys that set up on defense, you know, set up all the way. And then just basically go for rest. And also make sure they use the ability Shad Skin, which Arbok has access to. And this Arbok actually has uh, Shad Skin. And the moment that I thought about that, you know, that combination of rest and Shad Skin, I was like, you know what? I'm actually going to switch out into Lady here. For two reasons. One, I'm going to copy the Shad Skin ability in case it goes for the Glare or something like that and gets a status problem on my lady. I can always recover that uh, away or a bit quicker with Shad Skin after I've used my Lumberry because I'm still holding a Lumberry. So I do go for the Psychic, which is super effective against Arbok, but he, de he ended up switching into his Maester Mine, which still takes a lot of damage from that. And it surprises me because it's not super effective, like, that's that's incredible. But he's going to go for the first Hypnosis, he's gonna miss, he's gonna go for the second one, he's gonna hit. But then Lumberry uh, wakes me up immediately, which is awesome. And I still don't understand how my lady can be a male. <laughs> like, really, it's, it's like a Travestite or something. But anyways, I, I, I am going to switch at this point, and I have no idea why I actually did that, I should have stayed in. But, um, whatever the case, uh, my Charizard takes a... Uh, you know, a load of damage from that Psychic and leaves him with like, uh, you know, 50%. And, um, well, that, that's, that's that's okay for me, that's okay with me because I am definitely going to switch out because this Mr. Mine goes down and his Arbox shows up. And uh, the cocky Chris that I am, I actually want to end this game uh, at 6-0 because he only has an Arbok left and I know that uh, his Arbok is not going to be able to do basically anything to my Rocky so therefore you know I bring out Rocky and just go for the Earthquake, just spam those Earthquake all over the place and hope for the best because I don't think there is, a, there is not, not even the slightest chance of him winning this game anymore so yeah I mean rather rather than just poisoning my um, Rocky or something like that. There is nothing else that he can do. So that's pretty much good game guys. Earthquake for the win. Uh, comment, rate, and subscribe. I love you guys. Uh, I'm still I'm still hanging around guys. If I have the time I will make more videos. And uh, pre pretty much Pokemon X and Y are around the corner. I'm definitely going to get that game as soon as it comes out. Or maybe uh, a week later or something like that. I have no idea. But I will definitely be making videos of that. Remember to check out this guys channel. Link will be down in the description. Um, there is also this episode that I put down there. Um, episode Pokemon Origin 4, I believe it is. Uh, link will be down in the description. Go check it out. If you want to see uh, Charizard transforming into its Mega Evolution, um, the exclusive version for Pokemon X, you can always skip to the end of that video and you will see it. So, other than, other than that, guys, pretty much, yeah, have a nice day. Take care.